Hello folks, Dave Schoke here with the Twin Home Experts. I just want to go ahead and take time out and go over the question that I get often is, whose responsibility is it when, a, when you live in a condominium complex and you get water damage and possible mold into your unit? And right now I'm actually with uh, one of our customers that lives on the bottom floor who is suffering from multiple leaks in her ceiling and walls and closets and uh, dealing with mold as well. Had a bunch of different plumbers coming in here, making a lot of different assumptions. Uh, so Barbara, right now, since you've been dealing with this leak for a while, are you unclear as to who's responsible for the leaks or where are you at with that right now? Well, I think we've done some thorough investigation and there's always questions of is it a homeowner's responsibility or is it an HOA where the problems are coming from and I think we sufficiently uh, uh, determined that it is coming from the unit above me um, we took plenty of videos and pictures um, and I think it has something to do with their uh, uh, bathtub area where you turn on and off the water, the water Ooh, fixtures. Correct. That, so that, yeah. actually Barbara's dealing with mm -hmm. two leaks, one over here in the in the shower area, right above mm -hmm. her shower area. Mm -hmm. And what we've determined that it is not a common area issue causing this issue. It's actually the homeowner up above in unit uh, on the second floor. Uh, their shower fixtures. So typically the CCNRs read that anything outside the walls that pertain to your individual fixture is typically the homeowner's responsibility. Now for this leak here, uh, which I'm gonna go ahead and show you in just a little bit, is actually a drain pipe that's feeding multiple units, though it really does fall on the homeowner's association to be responsible not only to replace the pipe, but also replace the drywall, deal with the mold and the water damage. So that's where we're at right now. So I just wanted to bring you in, Barbara, just from your at you being a homeowner and experiencing all of this, did we make it easier for you coming yes. in here, protecting your, your indoor air quality by putting proper containments and then executing and documenting? Just wanted to verify that if, if you're Yes, it was, it was done very professionally and they went through every step on how they are sealing off the area to protect me, to protect the rest of my unit. Um, what I'll do now is go ahead and show you a, a good visual as to what we found over here that falls under the HOA's responsibility. So uh, let's go ahead and show you that right now. Our proper containment here. And the reason why we do the containment is just to protect the indoor air quality uh, while we're opening up. And you can see right here, this is a, a main pipe that goes inside the wall, picking up multiple units above. So that's why we know it's a common area pipe. But you could see the crack into this pipe here. What it was doing is it was leaking and then causing water damage in her linen closet here. So we actually identified where the water damage is coming from. Um, that's why we really love opening up walls and running all our testing because it uh, does give you a complete visual of what's going on inside the walls. Uh, we're able to look at the wood, what, what areas of the walls are dry, what areas are wet. So, uh, it takes all the assumptions out. All right, folks, so uh, this is the second leak that we were describing. We opened up the ceiling here. We ran multiple tests up above in the unit below, or above, I'm sorry, and determined that water's leaking actually from uh, the fixtures here not being sealed properly as well as the tub spout. So water's going in as they shower and it was dripping. Um, so this here is not an HOA responsibility. It's actually the owner's responsibility. And you're either going to have a good tenant uh, or a homeowner that's going to take care of the damages that caused your unit or you would have to file an insurance claim to go after go after them to cover all the damages in your unit. All right, folks, well, there you have it. Hopefully this answered the question, who's responsible, your HOA or you. Hopefully that gave you some clarification. And as always, thanks for watching.